I, I will turn quickly here to uh, Secretary Bookvar. As many of you know, Senator Scarnati and I uh, called for her resignation last night. Um, you know, when Secretary Bookvar was nominated by the governor, uh, we had a lot of concerns uh, about her capabilities, knowing that this was going to be such an intense election. Uh, and uh, matter of fact, I believe the governor had to pull back her nomination, resubmitted it, uh, and then we finally got to the point where we um, voted for her uh, because it was the governor's choice, and you know, and, and he deserves his choice. But there was great concern. I had no idea. I was concerned about competency. I had no idea of the partisanship uh, that we would see uh, out of this department. You know, I served with Ed Rendell for eight years, a former chairman of the Democrat National Committee, and he never approached weaponizing the Department of State during an election cycle as this department has done. To send out guidance at 10.30 at night on the eve of the election, on the eve of the election on an issue that had been discussed and talked about for six months, so it wasn't anything new, the issue of naked ballots. To send out new guidance at 10.30 at night on the eve of the election is because clearly the secretary was concerned about the results that were coming and she needed to tip the scale in a different direction. It is not up to the secretary of, of um, state to decide which laws to enforce and which laws not to enforce. We believe that every legal vote should count and we need to take our time, be patient and all these votes will be counted. And we'll get a result in this presidential race, and, and hopefully it'll be done that everyone has confidence in. Uh, but the secretary, not just on the eve of the election, but in prior months and weeks, tried to knock down every security issue dealing with an election that would allow for the integrity of this vote. Again, never have I seen in my time in the legislature as a Department of State act in this way. In direct, in direct contrary to the Democrat... Supreme Court Justice Max Baer, who wrote the majority opinion, that this was an issue of the legislature. So, you know, we saw it on a couple different occasions with the secretary. I think the governor should ask her to step aside so that the people of Pennsylvania can have confidence in the integrity of this result, whether it's Joe Biden, whether it's um, President Trump, whether it, you know, even the row offices, even the state legislative races. You know, all we want to do is have confidence in the result. We'll have winners and we'll have losers. Uh, but it seems to have been the mission of the Democratic Party to cause confusion in this race. You know, from you know, doing stories that the legislature was going to steal uh, the electoral process, which we cannot, would not. Uh, whether, you know, there were stories out recently that they were concerned about the militia coming in, intimidating voters. No matter which way they're doing, they were trying to cause confusion on one hand while they were doing this partisanship on the other, which is unfortunate. Uh, so, I again, would call on the Secretary Bookbar to step aside. I'd ask the governor to remove her uh, so that the people of Pennsylvania can have confidence in the result of this election, no matter which way it goes.